Good evening. It stood for 125 years, but protesters decided they could stand it no longer. They pulled down the statue of slave trader Edward Colston yesterday before dragging it through the street and throwing it into the city's docks. 10,000 people filled the centre in an otherwise peaceful Black Lives Matter demonstration. Ignoring social distancing to make their voices heard, the protests were originally sparked by the killing of an unarmed black man in police custody in America. America. Well, tonight we're live across Bristol to examine what happened from those report from Richard Payne and a warning that you may find some of the footage upsetting. For a generation, history decided Colston should stand over Bristol for more than a century. Will history come to judge this as a turning point in the in 72? You know, to start to hang uh, the Colston statue on the shoulders of myself after all these years, I'm sure you'd agree is a bit of an issue. There were many generations. Uh... It just comes to show that enough is enough. We ain't gonna stand for it anymore. You know, it did have to come to this. As far as the statue is concerned, it should have been down a long time ago. But I, I was black. There was music. <laughs> and there was poetry. Talk to mum and dad, my family tree. We are and in Gloucester. Back in Cheltenham, and the message from this rally is clear. You have to treat black people like you treat white people, not just not just in your own opinion. Ken Gilbin with that report there. And in the Britain Get Talking podcast this week, I speak to ITV weather forecaster Alex Beresford about the racism he's suffered throughout his life in Bristol. Start to work its way through. That looks like a dry start on Wednesday. We are going to see a couple of showers drifting in later on. Temperatures also taking a little bit of a dip by that point as well. Those fronts then bring a wetter day, probably a windier day on Thursday as well for most of us, leaving us with something perhaps a bit more showery as we head through Friday. Still quite breezy, but temperatures starting to pick up, and that's because 